Hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome uh, to the very first Peter CSS Conf. Uh, it's June, June uh, 16th, 2017, if you forgot. Uh, and right now, at this very moment, uh, there's another CSS Conf happening uh, in Amsterdam. It's called CSS Day. But thank you for flying with Peter CSS. Like, thank you for being here. Uh, there are many other conferences uh, in Russia, like front-end conferences like this or in Europe. But here in Russia, um, this one really, really, really special, special in many ways. Uh, for example, uh, this is the very first CSS conf in Russia. So like you, if you've been in Europe, yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Meaning that it's fully dedicated to fr visual front-end technologies. So front-end is, 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 is a thing that united us here. But uh, sometimes front-end front equals to JavaScript. And though we have nothing against JavaScript, we think uh, front-end is much, much bigger. So we're here to talk about UX, UI, accessibility, markup, semantics, typography, like everything that's bigger than just programming language. Uh, uh, about a year ago, we started a uh, local uh, Peter CSS Conf meetup. Uh, well, Peter CSS meetup, uh, and it was uh, monthly. Uh, we, we made uh, 13 uh, meetups so far, like 40 speakers. It, it was a big success. But on one hand, it was really local, great community uh, uniting designers and developers. On the other hand, there is a problem. It's local because. Uh, you wouldn't just stop by on your way from Berlin, Helsinki, or London on Peter CSS Meetup because it's in Russian. Like, there's nothing wrong with uh, speaking Russian language, you know? Uh, we're here in Russia. Uh, I love it too, but we have a problem. Uh, and uh, that's why we decided to make the very first, again, the very first uh, English speaking conference in Russia. So we're, it's a bit, it's a bit weird. Like, there's an, Elephant in the room, you know, uh, like not the real, not the real one. Uh, so don't run yet. Uh, there's a problem. Like I'm native Russian speaker. Most of the people in the audience are native Russian speakers. So what the hell is going on right now? Uh, we're first of all, we're doing this for our beautiful speakers, so so they wouldn't be isolated. In 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 a uh, in their own talk. Usually, when they come to Russia, they just deliver a talk and they go see the Red Square, you know. And the conference is useless usually for them. This is the very first conference that's where uh, speakers are truly welcome. That where our foreign guests. There are not not many of them this year, but we hope for more the next year. So, but also this is for you, my fellow Russians. Because uh, we, we need to make this step and unite with international community. We, we, maybe you don't understand this, but we're really isolated. Like for example, uh, Yandex invented BAM around 2007, 10 years ago. And uh, even before object-oriented CSS, even before SMACs and everything. And how, how many years it, it, it took to, for, for it to be wide spread and wide known? So, like, a lot. Like, it's only a few years ago it, it became a very, very popular and it became, like, standard in, like, naming and uh, development interfaces. So, like, we have to avoid such situations. We have a lot of things to, to, to show to the worldwide community. So, this is our help to you to, to show something. So we have, uh, I think, three native Russian speakers, like two and a half, Andre, I don't know, uh, today. Uh, but most of them are native, well, English speak, uh, they, they, they speak English uh, freely. So uh, it's going to be uh, this year. Maybe next year we will have more Russian, native Russian speakers. So yeah, uh, just to remind you why we're here, we're on a mission, mission to unite our communities to save the world, to make the world a better place. So welcome, and thank you for coming here. Uh, let's, not yet, not yet. 
Uh, let's get a bit, a bit more practical. Um, we have uh, eight beautiful speakers on our schedule. Uh, we will, uh, each talk will, uh, will last like 30 minutes. And after each talk, we'll have, we'll have some time for questions. But not questions from audience, but we will ask you to ask questions uh, on Twitter using our hashtag PeterCSS. Uh, we have a Wi-Fi here, so please please connect, or you can use like your, your like, cellular network. It should work fine, which we checked. So like, you can ask questions. Uh, when, when talk begins, you, you ask if you have a question, you, you ask it uh, to PeterCSS.com as a reply, uh, conf as a reply, or just using this hashtag. We will monitor it, and we will, uh, after the talk, we'll sit down here with speakers, and I will ask them questions. So don't have to worry about like your English or like being too nervous. So I'll, I'll, I'll deliver your questions. Like please ask during the, the whole talk. Uh, Talks will be grouped uh, uh, in two. After every two talks, there will be a 20-minute break. So we will have two 20-minute breaks and one lunch break. We'll have some, some food for you. We, have, we'll, we will have some drinks and uh, other activities uh, outside. Uh, we will, you can also, if you, you know, if you don't have Twitter, if you don't have cell phone, like smartphone, if you don't have anything but your hands, uh, you can use pen and paper. There, there it is, on a small table in front of the stage. So you can take pen, pen and paper and write down your questions and deliver it to me uh, uh, at the end of the talk or like during the talk. So in case. Uh, what else? We have, uh, we, have, we have a restaurant downstairs. So if you're hungry, if you, have, if you need a drink or whatever, uh, you can go downstairs. We also have some, some food. Uh, we will have some food in breaks. There is also a street food container behind the building. So you can have something, something else. Um, right. Uh, yeah, Wi-Fi is open. Hashtag is Peter CSS. We also have, uh, I think it's the very first time. Uh, it's not the very first time when conference have a code of conduct. But it's the first time when we mean it. Like we're not just, it's not just on our side. We would like to enforce it. We'd like to make this uh, place and conference uh, comfortable for everyone. So please read it if you, don't, you haven't uh, read it yet. Um, uh, and if you have any questions, problems, concerns, please find people with uh, 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 pink lanyards. Uh, they are special. Well, you're special too, but you have a yellow special color. But we have pink special. Uh, and also we have uh, uh, volunteers. They have these bright badges. Uh, organizers, we will have these bright badges like pink, yellow, green. Uh, and volunteers, they have like really nice pink stripes at the bottom. So you can, you can ask all of those people if you have any questions, concerns, like if something's, uh, if you have any problems or just, or you're just happy and you want to express yourself, you know. Uh, you can do anything. Uh, well, you know, there's code of conduct, of course. Uh, and that's it, we have, some, we have some security here that will check your badges. Well, not every, on, on every step, but they will, they will make sure that we have only people that are like, supposed to be here you know so if you again if you have any any problems questions just just let us know we're here for you and this is probably it we have some working areas as well uh, like over there with some uh, with some uh, power where you can charge your laptop or phone over there and probably some something in in lounge area uh, there has there's a lot of things happening uh, in on exhibition so please please check it and uh, and uh, a little uh, something else. We are really grateful to our sponsors because uh, it wouldn't have happened if, if it weren't for them. Like uh, it's it's our very first conference, and it's really you can see it's bright, it's really it's big, and the the venue is is just beautiful. So we we wouldn't make it without without sponsor support. So thank you, th thank you, HTML Academy. I actually work for HTML Academy. If you don't know me, I'm Vadim Makiev. Uh, I forgot to introduce myself. Anyway, I work for this company, and and this is uh, one of the main our main sponsors. Uh, they have a um, uh, blind coding competition, so you will code without seeing the result, and then we will we will check if it's if it's correct. 
<laughs> it's 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 going to be interesting. <laughs> uh, the, um, you see all those crazy acid hands, colors, and everything like our your beautiful badges. Everything is made by Shishki. This is a this is a design design studio that made everything uh, so bright. When 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 we saw it for the first time, we said. No, it's too much. Like people are not gonna appreciate it. But then, then we spent a couple of months with it, and we liked it. I hope you liked it too. Like, <laughs> they also they also are kind of a sponsor. So yeah, please, please uh, appreciate the, the work they've done. It's, this is really really great. We also have a Skype. Um, we, we 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 thought like there are many people in the audience who might feel who would feel uncomfortable because there's a lot of uh, people talking in English. So you know where, where to go. <laughs> this is a school, English school. They have, uh, they've just launched a project with some uh, smart subtitles for movies and everything. So please, uh, please check, if you, if you want to improve your English, please check Skyank. They're, 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 they're really great, great. It's not a typical English school. It's there. It's very advanced thing. Um, also, JetBrains. They have a they have a local office in Saint Petersburg. They they're really really great thing. They do a lot of great tools like WebStorm, IntelliJ ID, and, and uh, uh, something like this. Utrack and many others. So they also have a stand on, on on our exhibition. So stop by and say hi and say thank you for sponsoring us. Uh, also, Semrush. They also have an office in, in Saint Petersburg. I think uh, there are some people in in the audience from Semrush. Uh, Hey, I know you, uh, and uh, some others. So they also have a stay, stand. Please, please stop by and say hi. Thank you, Samraj, for sponsoring us. And Selectel, this is a, uh, our local internet like server provider. I don't know how how to. They do a lot of things uh, related to, to hosting and networking. So they also have a stand. Please stop by and say thank you. <coughs> and uh, for Yandex Taxi. Um, this is, uh, they really help us to, to move speakers around the city. Uh, uh, they sponsored uh, some rides in the city. They're really, really great. And uh, they also gave, gave, gave you a promo codes. Uh, if you haven't tried Yandex Taxi yet, you will get, uh, you will get discount uh, for, the, for, for the first two rides. So thank you them for, uh, for, for partnering with us and helping uh, with logistics. And that's it. This is a closing comment. You know, you see. Uh, also, we have we have some stickers, so you could, could put them on your badges to make them even more brighter. So uh, let's let's begin. Uh, in a in a few moment, uh, <clears throat> uh, we will see we will see the first talk. When we first uh, decided to make this conference, we thought, right, we need to find designers who code. We need to find coders that know what design is and the, the first the, the most obvious choice uh, was was Yandex and, and it was Anton because they do a lot of beautiful things uh, it, it's one of the biggest companies IT companies in Russia my, my, my personally my favorite uh, they they have so much so many users world uh, worldwide and in Russia especially so they they don't have a luxury to design in Photoshop they design in code they design in browser and this is data-driven design, and Brad, it's for you. Please welcome Anton. Thank you. 